Hi, I'm Liz Gunn from New Zealand Oil with the final policy statement from us before the October 2023 election. I'm often asked what position New Zealand Oil holds on a variety of subjects. And often these questions have been addressed in policy statements I've put out. They can be found in the many policy position videos that you can watch at nzloyal.org.nz. I do advise you to take the time to watch the video announcements on the issues of most interest to you. So I thought today I would just give some brief answers to FAQs, to frequently asked questions. The first area is whether New Zealand Loyal are elected to Parliament or not. We shall not go into a coalition with any other party. Your vote will never be prostituted, it will never be traded, it will never be cheapened in any way in order for us to gain power through that back door, no. New Zealand Oil will not join any umbrella arrangement either, and that's for the same reason. Anything that is not beneficial to the people of New Zealand will not be supported by the candidates who stand for New Zealand Loyal. Co-governance arrangements will never be supported by New Zealand Loyal. All race-based policies will be scrapped and we will vote against them. No one New Zealander is any more special than any other New Zealander in standing or in deserving than anybody else in this country. A complete decriminalisation of natural cannabis products will be supported by New Zealand Loyal. The medicinal benefits of cannabis are well known and we believe the only reason these are illegal is due to the vested interests of the pharmaceutical industry. And in that same plant family we're also going to make sure that we encourage and support a vast hemp industry in New Zealand. Hemp bricks, hemp clothing and there'll be many other uses to which this very useful plant can be put. It will certainly replace the pine trees that at the moment cause such problems in our soil and in our waterways. There shall be a complete moratorium on all immigration until such time as we have well the infrastructure and the systems in place to cater for those who we already have living here in New Zealand. We need places in schools, we need roads that are not clogged with traffic. We must stop and take a breath on these vast numbers of migrants being brought into this country. New Zealand Loyal are doing what no other party is doing or even willing to do, and that is taking on the banks. The debt-based fiat monetary system is responsible for a large proportion of the problems we all face in this country and we will do something to stop that. To demonstrate that New Zealand Loyal is a party that's truly representative of the people, we are amending our fisheries policy position and that's based on the feedback we've had from fishermen in the South Island. We've maintained that together we will rebuild this nation the people of New Zealand and your representatives in New Zealand Loyal. And we will use best practices and input and viewpoints from all stakeholders. That amendment of the fishing policy shows you that we will listen to you. No government has the right to restrict the people of New Zealand. The government exists, or it should exist, to serve the people. The right to self-defence and self-preservation cannot be legislated away by anyone. You, the people of New Zealand, if you are responsible with your gun ownership, and if you so choose, you can rearm yourselves without restriction. Business owners also have the right to protect themselves from violent criminals. Here's the rub, if a criminal believes there's a high probability of being shot if he attempts to violently rob a business, a family home or an individual, we will all find that crime statistics in New Zealand drop overnight. An unarmed population become victims as we've seen in the last six years under Labour. A well-armed population are not victims. And we also believe in what Jefferson said, we believe that the government should fear the people 
and the people should never fear the government. Jefferson, in founding, helping found America and its basic principles, he foretold that there could one day be a rogue government and that they would need to fear the people. We have had a rogue government under Labour and Greens and the Māori Party. They did not fear us, but in the future, those who represent you must respect and must fear you. And then they will behave. The corporate state will be destroyed under a New Zealand loyal governance. The people shall be returned to power. A foreign corporation masquerading as the government of this country was instituted under Longy and it was created to serve the globalists and furthermore it usurped the power of the people. New Zealand Loyal and all of our supporters, we now have their number and their time is up. That's why we had as our byline, New Zealand Loyal, loyal to you and not to them. We will always serve the people of our country. We will always listen to you and we will rebuild our country together in partnership with you. And we will never serve or listen to or obey the globalists. We are loyal to you. We are not loyal to them. Please party vote New Zealand loyal and candidate vote where you have a candidate in your area for your New Zealand loyal candidate.